In this video we will show you how to create a cherry blossom coaster. Coasters are practical and beautiful at the same time. I use them to protect furniture from ring marks and at the same time embellish a table setting. The finished size of our coaster is approximately 100 mm or 4 inches. Let's create our design. Start the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse. If you hold the control key down while drawing, you will get a perfect circle. Select the shape you have created and type 105 mm or 4.1 inches for the width and height. Enter 0 for X and Y to center the shape to the hoop. Keeping the shape selected, click on the duplicate button. Now having the new shape selected, enter 90% for scale X or Y to create a circle that is slightly smaller than the original circle. Select the outer circle and remove the fill. From the stitches option of this outer liner, select double. These are the stitches that will sew the front and back fabrics together. Let's enable the view of the grid temporarily. Now select the inner circle and click on the Array option for the outline. Select a flower and proceed. Drag the mouse to make the flower about 20 mm, that is 0.8 inches in size. Set the offset to minus 10 mm or minus 0.4 inches so that the pattern is set inside the running stitches and set the spacing to 2 mm or just enough space to fit 10 patterns. Actually, any number of patterns can be placed as long as they fit within the running stitch. Here we have 10 repeats of the pattern. Next, place an array to fill. Click Array in Fill Properties. Select the leaf and click Insert. Drag the mouse to place a leaf diagonally within a 15 mm, that is 0.6 inches square. Select Contour from Fill under Properties. You can choose any fill you like, but here we will use the contour. Using the node editing tool, move the control handle displayed on the shape to adjust the leaves so that they are centered and well balanced. This position looks good. Once the array is in place, Set the colors and stitches to add arrangements to the leaves and flowers. To do so, we need to separate the array into objects. Select the shape and click Separate to Objects under the Properties field. Do the same for the outline. Flowers and leaves can now be edited as their respective objects and the original shape is displayed as artwork. The artwork outline and fill are not needed here, so select the artwork and delete it. Arrays separated into objects are grouped. I will set one color for the flower group and one color for the leaf group and group the objects so that changes can be made to each object individually. Hold the Shift key down and select every other flower to place the outline and remove the fill. Apply Satin Serial to the outline of the flower and remove the fill. Hold the Shift key down and select all the filled flowers and a pattern. Now 
set the underlay. Set the length if you prefer. I believe that setting the length to 8 millimeters, that is 0.3 inches, makes the pattern of this flower look more like cherry blossoms, so I will set the length to 8 millimeters, that is 0.3 inches. Hold the shift key down and select all the leaves. Select a pattern. This one is Sea Waves 1. Set the underlay. You may also set the length if you prefer. I found out that the pattern gets a more leafy effect when it is set to 8 mm, that is 0.3 inches, so I will set the length accordingly. Last but not least, Use the stitch flow to adjust the direction of the stitches so that the pattern looks perfect. The design is now complete and we only need to set the sequence. If it is set to auto, click it to choose manual. Bring the running stitch last. Check the order of embroidery with slow redraw. When you are satisfied with the output, send it to your sewing machine. If you want to make several coasters at the same time, using a large hoop, then select the design. Use the rectangle array of the vertical tool array. Enter the number of copies you want to make and move the control handles to place them in the hoop and then click apply. Ungroup. Move all running stitches to the end and rearrange them so that objects of the same color are embroidered together. We are ready to embroider now, so make sure you've gathered all the materials you need. We will need a piece of outer fabric, 150 mm by 150 mm, that is 6 inches by 6 inches, and two pieces of fabric for the back at the same di dimensions 150 mm by 150 mm that is 6 inches by 6 inches additionally we will need standard material like stabilizer embroidery threads and adhesive spray we will start by folding each of the back fabrics in half and then ironing them Now hoop the stabilizer and place your front fabric to the hoop using an adhesive spray. Open the design. Set the bobbin and needle thread, attach the hoop to the sewing machine and start embroidery. When the embroidery is complete, detach the hoop from the machine and place the back fabrics so that the creases of the cloth intersect at the center by 10 mm, that is 0.4 inches. Tape it to prevent the fabrics from slipping. Attach the hoop to the sewing machine and press the start button to sew the fabrics together.
Detach the hoop from the machine and unhoop the stabilizer. Tear off the stabilizer. Cut the outside 5 mm, that is a quarter of an inch, off the seam with scissors. Make cuts at 5 mm, that is 0.2 inches intervals. Move the right side out. Gently push from the inside so that the curve comes out neatly. It's done! Use your imagination to make any kind of coaster or mug rug you like. It's a fun project with which you may experiment with different techniques, make good use of any leftover stash and they make nice gifts too. Enjoy!